get people to buy into that, particularly when they open up radionic units and find there's really nothing in them. Uh, this is what, of course, the famous Bruce Copen did, was make very uh, scientific, medical-looking units so he could sell them for, you know, several thousand uh, and more. Uh, four, five, six thousand, ten, whatever they are going now. So if you're going to do that, and of course, uh, the other crooks that took his name, of course, and then uh, have, of course, put out instruments that tie ten, fifteen thousand dollars Yeah, but they're computerized. They've got to work, right? Uh, so this is the kind of garbage that you get from uh, all these people. But that's how you're going to sell something for a high price that basically does nothing. And if, it, if they are just doing that, you're, you are charging people a fortune for what is very simple frequency technologies. Frequency generators, like something like this. I think I paid like a hundred bucks for this. Uh, and you can generate all the frequencies. One isn't better than the other or anything else. It's kind of a fraud. This, of course, is based on uh, the Bob Beck frequencies. It's not adjustable in terms of frequency. You just connect it to yourself. So, And this has been done... Uh, Clark did this with her zappers. We can go on and on. There are lots and lots of frequency tools out there, uh, of course, at uh, lots of good prices now. Some people still selling very expensive frequency generators, which are expensive even to buy, for thousands and thousands of dollars. And uh, certainly the new Spooky 2 with the two big units, which are very cumbersome. One thing interesting with White is that he prefers to have actual... Um, analog type wiring and so forth. He even claims that most of his parts come from the United States that he buys, uh, which is interesting being uh, based in China. So, um, so those are getting into a little, getting a little bit too much into the actual use of these things, which we want to avoid. Uh, but in terms of what's going on with this particular organization, um, uh, seems to be from this particular point, from what I can do, and I can't spend, and I've already spent uh, many, many hours researching all of this stuff. Um, it appears that this is a legitimate organization. Is it the best tech out there? Does the tech work like they talk about? Well, there is a real problem that it's very complicated to use from what I can see. It's very download this, use this program, and it's not done user-friendly. And I think the problem here is, is that John White is a typical complicated engineer mind. He's not making things user-friendly. And people buy lots of his equipment. He must have 10 or 15 different machines and accessories that he makes. It's all very complicated for what to use. It's poorly put together on the websites and very hard to understand what you're going to get. And I've seen training classes that are five and six hours long of how to use this stuff. That's a mistake. It tells me that it's very difficult to use this technology and the average person that gets it is going to have a problem. Or all those old people that you see in his testimonials or all those old people in the testimonials who have no technical backgrounds, able to download all these programs, put them into their machine, run all these things. Well, from what I can see, I wouldn't think they would have a chance. Well, most people have trouble uh, using their remote control on their TV, more or less the fact of trying to get these older sick people to be able to use this tech. This appears to me to be a giant problem. Now, I do not, and let me clarify, I do not have his technology, any of his machines whatsoever, and I don't know how they work. I have carefully went through them, and you can actually download, um, set up an instruction booklets of what you have to do. And all of it seems pretty damn complicated to me instead of getting a frequency machine and dialing in the frequencies or the program and this running it. Um, using the way that he wants to do it, it's kind of like the old way of getting computers where you actually got a computer and you had to actually put every single program into it. You old timers out there remember that? Well, I remember it. What a nightmare. Uh, it kind of equates to something as stupid as Bill Gates' favorite, DOS. Ooh, DOS. What an idiot program that is. Um, so we, we have to understand all of those things uh, that go with that. So that's one of the drawbacks of this, but I'm going to get into that uh, more specifically in the video, in the next video. Uh, so this should give you a good idea of whom this person is, what it is, are they have some credibility as of this particular point, and I don't really know until I, but I will uh, further look into it. Uh, certainly, this guy's attitude is that he's trying to do this to help my, mankind. His basic frequency units are very inexpensive. Uh, they're about $350 uh, to get the base unit. 
but that's only the generator. Uh, if you want to get his other stuff, that can run several thousand dollars. And whether all that stuff is worth it or not, uh, he also has analyzing equipment. And we'll get into all these things, the usual things that, that sell out there inexpensively. They're supposed to tell you what's wrong with you. Uh, these are all fraudulent waste. And this is one of the problems with tech uh, that we have to be very careful with, uh, that you wander into this because that's what's coming out from other people and you incorporate it without making it better uh, as well. Um, so we'll get into all that and who he's connected to in terms of uh, development, what he's doing, etc., and all the other. But at this point, it is interesting. And of course, he doesn't have the skeletons in the closet that so many other people have and doesn't appear to be at this time connected to any negative people, etc. And I haven't seen him put his face with them. But as a businessman, as he sets everything else and the numerous supporters he has around the world who are unorganized and doing things pretty poorly and low level. Uh, this is a problem uh, that is uh, hurting his business because he doesn't really know how to run a proper business, uh, apparently. Doesn't know how to put up websites or anything else. And whoever is helping him with that it's a big nightmare. You should have one website that has everything on it that you can easily go through, buy packages, buy one item, buy not. That's not where it is. Uh, I had difficulty finding his regular generators. I don't know if he does that deliberately. Ironically, I got his proper address to uh, order his generators from the skeptic site who had links to there. He talked about him and uh, what was going on. So the only way, that's the only way I could find it through the skeptics, the people who criticize the technology, uh, which is kind of amusing in itself. Um, so this is a serious problem, and we'll cover all this in our next video.